this is a, a quick tip um, with the bed for the Anycubic Photon. Um, I've had this for quite a while. Uh, this particular one caused all sorts of issues until I realised how uneven the bed was uh, from factory. It had quite a warp in it, so I had to sand it and then eventually fit a magnetic bed and it's yeah all fine and dandy now. Uh, but in terms of, you know, after print and letting the resin drip off, um, there's a couple of things you can do. Um, I'll show you a part I have printed on my printer, one sec. So yeah, so I've got a, a piece of FDM printed bracket that slots in there. Now you tighten your platform up, it can stay in situ, doesn't affect any printing. Uh, but uh, it's not, I've, I've had to change it a little bit to make it a bit more vertical and it kind of works. Um, but I thought, well, why can't you just slide it over here really? It'd be much simpler if you could. Uh, it turns out that you can. What stops you from doing it is once you've leveled all your build plate and tightened up these four screws on the side, the fact that they protrude ever so slightly through here when you've tightened them up is what stops it sliding over the central column. In a, it'll go over that way, and it should slide over it that way, but it doesn't because it just catches on the screw threads. So if you grind those off, which I'm about to do, I'll show you it can slide over. And obviously that works well for prints that only, you know, sort of 50, 60, 70, maybe 80 mil high. Um, and then after that, you, you know, you're dripping past the tray and dripping all over wherever your printer's set. But it works well for prints of that sort of size. So small figures, you know, you can just park it afterwards and let it all rinse off uh, before you put it into your IPA bath. It just makes life a bit easier. It's less resin in the IPA. Um, less wastage uh, and just easier all round really so I'll, I'll drill these off and I'll show you how it fits okay so it, I actually used a, a Dremel in the end uh, used a grinding wheel with coarse sandpaper to take the aluminium down just shaved as you can see just slightly sanded it on the inside um, but the bolts are completely flush now. For the bolts, you need to use something a bit tougher, like a, I can't remember, a green silicon dioxide, but you know, some sort of grinding wheel like that. Uh, see all that stuff down there. Obviously, give it a massive clean afterwards, rinsed it all off, make sure there's no swarf left anyway, you don't want that going in the resin. So now, you can just slide it over there and say for you might be able to just pull it back a little bit as well like that so for models that are not too high you can see you know it can all rinse off straight into the drip tray for anything more yeah you need to start using you know, something like this with an angle on it uh, and obviously anything massive that, that's just not going to work really, you're going to have to drain it in a different way, but for small stuff, yeah, job's a good one.